Hey folks, Brian here. Have you ever played the game 2048? It's a game where you move tiles around, join identical tiles, and try to reach the value of 2048. Recently, I made a new version of that game that saves the game state in the URL. You can check it out at the address shown on the screen. So, the official version lets you play multiple games at the same time. For instance, I've got this game going on on the left hand side and I can sort of duplicate and pick off where I left off in a new tab. Unfortunately if Chrome restarts or maybe a pesky Windows update comes and you lose a tab for example I'm gonna close this tab here with an earlier game and if I reboot all of a sudden the game is the last game that I touched rather than where I left the tab at. In my version, which saves the game state in the URL, if you do the same thing, here let's play a bit, I can clone the game by clicking the clone button. Continue to play. And now if that pesky Chrome update or the Windows update comes along, when I restore the tab, you can see, because the game state is stored in the URL, which is part of the tab, it restores the game as you expect. So now you can have multiple games going on without worrying about clobbering the state. To create my version of the game, I went on GitHub and found the official version, which was open source. And then I forked it to create my own repository, where I could start making my own changes without messing up the official version. Once I downloaded the code base onto my local computer and popped open Visual Studio to take a look, I found out that the code was actually really well organized. And the only thing I had to do was go to this local storage manager JavaScript file. And as it's named, it stores the game state into local storage, which is per domain. So I simply decided to redo the functions, uh, clear game state, set game state, and get game state using the URL hash instead. And I decided to encode the entire game state by recording the score, whether the game was over or won, keep playing. And then I followed that up by storing the values of the tiles. And I store the exponential values. And this was actually copied from another fork of the game by Scott Torborg although I couldn't find the code for this. Uh, in GitHub, I kind of picked it apart by inspecting the page and um, copying the JavaScript code there. But with all these state values and the tile values, I simply concatenated them together with a period, and that's what you see in the URL. Now for the best score, I kept that to be stored as local storage because that's across all the tabs. But for the game, those actually use the URL hash values since those are per tab. Finally, I also tweaked the index.html. I added another button to clone the game here. And that just simply opens a new tab and picks up where you left off. So if you like kind of pausing and restoring, saving and loading, I should say, uh, this is the version of the game for you. Finally, I took advantage of GitHub Pages to host the game. Uh, GitHub Pages allows you to serve content straight from your Git repository. And if you go to the value below, it's actually serving the index.html file that I'm showing you right now and is stored in the GitHub repository. Anyway, if you have any feature suggestions, uh, let me know. Let me know in the comments and thanks for watching. See you later. Bye.